Hello, this is Ryan Womack, Data Librarian at Rutgers University Libraries. This online screencast series will focus on survival analysis using R. And so we are going to, as usual, be using material from the website libguides.rutgers.edu slash data underscore R. You can go to that website scroll down quite a bit on the left hand side and you'll see one link for a survival analysis R script. Uh, that is the material that we are going to cover in this session and I'm going to be using R Studio, uh, just running that R script in R Studio and reviewing what you can do in R to do survival analysis. Now this is this initial uh, clip is just an intro to the setup and the topic. Um, I'm just going to mention a little bit of background about survival analysis if you're not familiar with what that is. Uh, I am not going to talk about the theory and full background of, of survival analysis because that's a topic of its own sort of full course, but uh, survival analysis is the type of statistical analysis that you would do if you're looking at time to particular events occurring such as death or illness in a medical context or failure of a device in an engineering context and when we look at these times to an event we often observe the the subjects for a particular period of time a window of time and then we stop at a certain point so we can tell if something good or bad happened during that window, but we cannot tell what happened after the window of observation is over. And that's really going to be the key difference uh, in this kind of analysis versus a standard statistical analysis. And so you can read up on that. I'm just looking at the, um, the Wikipedia page for survival analysis, which covers quite a bit of um, the uh, standard things that you might want to know. And so we're going to look a little bit at data uh, in a survival format and you'll notice uh, in this example the the key is this flag of status. Uh, this data is flagged with a 1 or a 0 as to whether it has uh, been um, censored is the term that's often used uh, whether the the data uh, is incomplete in some sense, that we didn't observe the full end of whatever happened to that particular subject, the data would be censored. Uh, usually that is given a zero in the data and a one is is a flag for something happened with, with the data. Uh, we'll, we'll see that in the R context in just a bit. Uh, we'll be talking about things like Kaplan-Meier plots, that is a way of visualizing the survival rate uh, of this type of data and you know there's a lot that goes along with that we're not really going to get into that background as I said but we are going to see how to do survival analysis in R and for that uh, there are several packages that I'm going to refer to uh, those are listed in section one of the code and the primary package in R is just called survival uh, the survival package uh, takes care of most of your basic needs for survival analysis. However, I have found that there are a few extras and additional things you might want to do that are better served in a few other packages. So we're going to see those in action as we go through. And I'm going to just conclude the introductory uh, video right here and ask you to go download that script uh, go and install whatever additional packages you need and then come back for part two when we'll actually jump into the analysis. So, see you in a bit. 